just figured out how to get to them. So if you want me to show you how to look at those things online, I can. Oh, you have a copy. Jack, Jack wanted something, put a link on one of the emails. Yes, she sent co copies, I think. So, but you, anytime you want to look at it, yeah. either, they are online. And I, I just, I hate to print it out. So. And she's doing a great job, and I'm going to see if I can get her. At least I'm against her. Because she does such a good job. Grammar is not my. <laughs> there she is. Oh hi. Grammar is my big spot. Do you want to sit there so yeah. just, you can make it a little bit more, um, a little more space? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so here is the agenda, and here is the treasurer's report, which I also printed out, and we can go over that too. So um, everybody's here. Would you take minutes? Yep. Oh my god. I love you so much. <laughs> I might cry. Because <laughs> we have like the most beautiful minutes in the entire town. Like ever. I don't um, format those questions. I'll take all the questions. Well it was it was Sue? Lindsay. Linda Sue. Yeah. I well just, thank you, Linda Sue. Alright. So um Called meeting order 634. Um, Linda is here. Lorraine is here. This is Melanie. And I'll, and I'll have you spell your last name, although she was a guest at our last meeting as well. Yes. Um, so you may already have it in the room. Mm -hmm. I did. I remember I asked you first. <laughs> yeah. And then Bruce and Paul and myself. Um, Oscar is in Iceland. Or Turkey. <laughs> oh, he's somewhere. He's Turkey. always somewhere. Right, he's somewhere. Yeah. Um, he said he was going to Turkey. Yeah, it might be Turkey. He's yeah. from Turkey, so he, yeah, he goes back to visit. Um, and Robin called me about three weeks ago and resigned. So she's no longer going to be on the board. Um, we have since talked two or three times and she's you know, still wanting to participate and talk about things and she called to ask me about whether the board had um, weighed in on the project on uh, their road where the gentleman came to talk about his lot being divided. Remember the man who was here the last time and he wanted to put a second house? No, I was, the only thing I remember was C and J stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, it might have been the meeting before. Yeah. It might have been the meeting before. Yeah. Okay, so, so she wanted to ask me some questions about that, whatever. So I think she'll still be involved and I said, you know, if we need to call on you for your, you know, your wisdom and your yeah. insight, we, we will certainly you know, continue to give you that. We will not meet here again. It's just a one-off, and I did it because I wanted to be able to show you. Um, I went in that pit of terror, <laughs> and so I used to do historical committee and conservation, and we had two file doors in a three file door unit, one of which is all locked and nobody in the entire town has the key and can't open and we have no idea what are in those drawers. So the other two we can open. One has all the historical stuff in it and one had the Conservation Commission, but this was empty. So I took Conservation Commission out, I gave the other set of drawers to historical so they have two sets now side by side of these big old deep, like really old drawers. We don't have a ton of stuff. But I wanted it to be somewhere where it was accessible to everybody in the group or anybody in the town that would want to use it. And once it's organized, you know, each of these file drawers will contain uh, resources and information that belong to the, the, the commission. We also will be getting our mail in that top drawer. So, like right now, there's mail. Got it. But that way, if somebody needed to come in or sub for me or whatever, they would know where everything is. Excellent. Well, what I want to do before we leave is pull it out and let you look because there's things that go back to um, the 70s and early 80s that I think we can Talk recycle, out. recycle. Um, yep. <laughs> and maybe we want to pick a date that we archive um, and I'm not yeah. talking about anything that is town stuff it's stuff from DEF you know like booklets yeah. about wildlife and that kind of stuff. Yeah, water out. plans <laughs> that you know the federal government sent to every municipality right. in the country la 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 so we, we will just go through it and get it organized um, so that was why I wanted to meet here so I could show that to you and let you see all that. The other thing that's really cool is in that room, and there are some of them out here, but there are hundreds of maps that have been made of the town featuring all different kinds of topography and information about
about how the town is divided in different ways, and pretty much all of that is accessible. It's just not very well organized. So we may want to find a grouping of things that are useful to us and kind of keep them together in, out here in our area so that we have them if we ever want to look at them or pull them out or use them, and we can grab them and bring them out of the library and use them. But just structuring that in a way where everybody would know where they are. I threw the latest um, conservation land one up on the wall last time I was here, just so that we would be able to have a, a look at that. Um, there is one actually. Where it is? But it's almost as big as that whole wall. It's pre oh, it's right there. It's printed on. Um, Holy cow! It's humongous <laughs> map of Rollinsburg. Oh, yeah, it's and we had it on one. I don't know who did that. Mm -hmm. Stratford Regional Planning has a lot of cool toys, yeah. and all the guys over there love to like <laughs> print off things. So, <laughs> Is it recent though? Do you remember it? I don't know how yeah. old it is. We yeah. can roll it out and, and look at it, but yeah. it's kind of cool. So yeah. anyway, maybe I'll get the library to borrow it and they can put it in the room yeah. so that people could enjoy it and then we yeah. we'll bring it back yeah. and yeah. put it up. Yeah. Um, okay. Kids so let me... Find their houses if it's yeah, exactly. Going. Again, I didn't print a lot of paper, using the paper, but here's what I have for the agenda. Okay. Can you share with Tim or, or do you want to share? Okay. I'll just write stuff. Okay. And I'll, I'll email you that and the treasurer's report. Um, so the things that we need to cover for tonight, the minutes, did everyone have a chance to review the minutes? Okay, and we, we can make a motion to approve them as written. I'll make that motion. Okay. Yeah, I'll second. Okay, yeah. all in favor? Aye. Okay, great. So the minutes we can go. We have two sets of minutes we needed to uh, approve. We right, June and minutes. July. Yeah, just want to make sure we're, yep. we're approving so both. This is, <laughs> this is July, this is June. We, did not, we did not meet in August. Um, and just so you know, um, Bruce and Lorraine are alternates. The other four of us are, are appointed members. And then was there another woman who joined us last last month? So Ginny Ginny Bannon, I, I asked her and I followed up and I'm kind of waiting to see if she's going to join or not. But she, hopefully yep. she will. And then Melanie is is Melanie is going to be appointed. All right. That's I'm great. not going to let her be an Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived in town, Melanie? Um, it'll be well three years in March. Three years. Yeah. yeah. She lives on Silver Street, down more toward uh, short, down toward that end. Mm -hmm. um, Love it. So she'll go to the select board meeting either next Monday night or the next I Monday can go next month. Perfect. So she, and get herself appointed. Wonderful. And then we will have one vacancy to be appointed. Okay. And we have the two alternates. So if either of them wanted to, mm -hmm. they could. And if not, I'll scare up somebody else to <laughs> join. Do we um, have to um, have, have that number or could we? How many do we it's have a seven, It's a seven-person seven. board with right. two alternates. Right. So we yeah. should have that number. Ideally, it's, it's right. it would be right. an odd number for okay. for voting. Right. So, um, so that's that. Um, the minutes have been approved. This is I only made two copies of this too, but this is the treasurer's report, and this too is available on the internet. And Alinda is officially our treasurer. So, would you like to officially make the treasurer's report? <laughs> I make the treasurer's report. I did just look at it um, briefly yesterday. So, you know, essentially we have roughly $38,000. It doesn't look like there's been any activity. Um, and do, do you want to? Yeah, there's 852 in a um, checking, account. checking and then 37 and change in a savings in account. A savings account. Right. Um, that money came from the logging of the Scout Land, mm -hmm. which was a project that was completed two years ago now? Yes. Almost. All of it? Was there no money in the in the um, coffers yeah. before the, the, the it was logging project? The 852 was what was in the account before that. Mm -hmm. that so, that's it. You're shaking your head, that's not it. I don't know. Yeah. I, that's why I was looking at him, because I'm not sure yeah. what was in there before. So, when, sounds right. when Al Dion was chairing the, the commission, all of that transpired, so I don't know. And now Vern, as the town treasurer, is managing the accounts. So I don't. This is my first official right. piece of information. So as far as I'm concerned, while I'm in charge, I started with that amount, and I'm not. I'm not responsible right. for anything that happened before that. Is the way I feel. About I just. It. I remember Robin talking four or five years ago about a certain amount of money that was in the uh, uh, conservation account, and it was around forty. Well, years ago. So are you confusing the trust, the land trust money? Because Quite the possibly. next line That's down right. is land yeah. trust. And land trust is something the town votes for every year to have 
held in an right. account in case exactly. we want to help somebody. This must have been what she was talking right. about. Mm -hmm. The land use change. Yes. Tax so if funds. somebody wanted to put their land in easement, it yeah. would be a way that the town would have money budgeted in advance to, to support potentially that, right, that person's that effort to put their okay. land in conservation. Yep. Right. We don't actually have anything to do with that. The old, that's town. That goes to town meeting. That's right. Board of Selectmen do, doings. The so. only thing that we have is the in green that's highlighted in the green. Right. Those are our two accounts. And the reason I'm so we have no discretion at all over how that forty six thousand the land be, trust money. Yeah, how it might be divert, dispersed at any Where's given time meeting? at town meeting. You do right, but not this not this group. We don't have any. Say. We don't have any recommendations that we could if we were asked. Right. Yeah. Okay. If we were asked, what's good to know as a, as a citizen is that that money's there, right. and if you knew somebody, you could say, go to the board of selectmen. There's, you know, there's. Or you knew that there was a good project that right. needed the exactly. funding. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, so I have a quick question. Yep. Yeah. It was out of the land trust that they had a return check and a return check fee of fifty-one dollars and. $40? This is Vern's treasurer's report. I oh cannot I cannot speak for this. I asked how we were going to get information about our bank account, and this was the document that they gave me. So I would take that up with the board of selectmen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so the point of me bringing this is obviously we need to have the treasurer's you know, report, um, but I'm going to jump down to um, the Scoutland Forestry Management Plan and Charlie Moreno and the Invasive Plants mm -hmm. because it relates to the, the bank account. Um, over the last year, and I, there's, there's information in the file in there that I have not pulled out and looked at yet because I literally just talked to him on my way home from Boston this afternoon in the car, but uh, he was hired by the board two years ago to, to oversee the logging. He works quite a bit with Cell South and Trust, manages yeah. other projects in other towns. Um, he did the project here and then was contracted by the Conservation Commission to begin a invasive plant removal project on the property. According to him, and I, I'll look and get the exact <coughs> number for this in the paperwork, so I hope it's in there, because this all happened before, um, about $3,000 has been invested in his he and some experts out there removing invasive plants. The main plants that we have are bittersweet, uh, buckthorn, and there's something else, and I don't remember what it is. Multiflora rose? Not in there. No, it's not no. that bittersweet, yeah. buckthorn. Rose. We're the two big ones. And there is a stand of bamboo, but he doesn't seem that worried about it. It's not the bamboo that is everywhere else in town. It's a different right. kind of bamboo. So when he, t he called me, he said, I was you know, very glad to hear that you became the chair and I wanted to follow up because he said, I feel like the ball got dropped a little bit and we've done half the forest, we really should do the other half of the forest. And part of what was going on before is, let's get volunteers and everybody can go out there and they'll do the 100 acres and la la la, and I just really don't think that's going to happen. So I wanted to have a discussion with you all tonight about potentially um, you know, enlisting him and, and contracting him to do the rest of it. It's all mapped and gridded out. He has a team, and we would be voting to, you know, approve the funding of that out of the money. And what I asked him was, I said, when towns do the foresting projects and they have that money, he goes, yeah, you know, a lot of places they sit on it forever and they don't ever do anything with it. And he goes, and really, once you've done the logging, he goes, it kind of makes sense to keep the property not being invaded by all the invasive plants. Um, we know, because for a while we were trying to get volunteers to go out there. Yeah, it's not easy. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So I put that in front of you as a commission to discuss. Do you want to engage Charlie to continue to the, the finish of this project? Was, I would like to mention was, something about that. Um, I recall that it was done before. And as I recall also, to try to give him additional help, it seems to me that we talked to Troy Bashon. I'm trying to remember who it is. Um, Troy Shavuk about having prisoners help. He did have people and out there. I know years. we did that before. And that gives them an opportunity for community service. And so if we decide to do it, I hope we will consider talking to Troy about having something like that and see if we can do that again because I think that helped having the extra manpower out there to do what had to be done since they'll be doing parts that haven't been tackled before. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I, I'm I'm completely open to that because I know that, that we they you know there were some. I think I would defer to Charlie in terms of like how much expertise he needs to complete. So what he said was, let's complete it, and then we'll have the grid, we have the maps, we have the areas identified that are the hot spots, and then maybe the commission can take over mm -hmm. managing volunteers and keeping up with it, right? Right. But what we don't want to do is let it get. So I hiked this. I did the whole Scotland this weekend, and then I went over to some. I crossed and went into Summersworth's Mallee Farm, and nobody is managing the Mallee Farm. And there are parts of the trail now that you literally between the autumn olive, yep. the rose, and the bittersweet. I can show you my. Life. I mean, we were bushwhacking <laughs> to try to get through the trail, and I'm like, I, I'm getting to the other side. I don't care. But that's an abutting property to ours, and if we don't stay on it, we'll, it's going to kind of creep over into yeah, our side. So, um, and I s said to him, I said, then we'll talk to some of them and see if we can get them to take care of their side. And it's um, like this big, huge, beautiful. So, so. Good luck with some of it. What? I said, good luck with some of it. through some of it, they can't keep their roads up. Did Charlie give you uh, any sort of estimate of so price? He, so he, I asked that, and it's in the folder is in there for what we've already paid him, right. and I didn't, I wasn't part of it, so I don't right. know off the top of my head. I have to, I have to look it all up. But what the number he gave me for what he'd already been paid was three thousand dollars. So I and said, you said he did it about half. And I, yeah, so and we I were said, roughly maybe looking at yeah. And I said, I'm glad you gave me a ballpark. I said I didn't know if it would be a thousand dollars or twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, but I'm glad you gave me a ballpark. Right. So what he would do is if we said we, we you know we want you to make the proposal to us and find a group who can do it and you know get them set up, he could go this fall. I mean we could do it. As, he said the ideal time is last oh. week of October, first yeah. week of November. Mm -hmm. But we'd have to decide soon. Like now. Yes, like now. Yeah. So the problem with that is we don't have a bid for the exact amount. So we would have to okay. figure out how we we do that so that we could get his bid and then vote on that and say that we will approve that. Could we just uh, make a motion to approve up to a certain up to amount? Up to a certain amount, up to, up to um, $3,750 or something. Or, or we could just make a motion to do the project and then have a, a, an email communication, right? For I, a specific amount? I think they'd have to have. We'd we probably better saying we're going to motion to approve up to 5000 If anything is, amount. you know, below that, then yep. pick a number that has a little cushion. You guys don't ever do email polling? We, I got yelled at for doing that. I think <laughs> really well it's because you are a commission that is... Um, we're, we're obligated to have public, public meeting meetings for oh, anybody yeah, who wants actually, to come right. when we vote yeah. to do anything. So if you do it by email... <laughs> See, I'm used to the yeah. private sector, so right. we do email. Yeah. Oh, I, know. Know. I, I, guess, I, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I, I, you know, I fought the logging in the first place. And I didn't ever want them to do it, and I'm I'm old school, and I don't believe in it. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. But they did it, and we have this money. We have the responsibility to disperse the money in ways that we feel are a responsible use of it. Yeah. This is really the jewel of our <coughs> conservation land in the town, and the one that people use the most. And when you open up spaces, what comes in is invasives if you don't exactly. take care of it. Exactly. And right and I've yeah. seen in my 25 years of gardening in Rollinsford, the invasives have become much more prevalent in our town than they were when I first started gardening. Like, it's out of control. Yep. That rose in the spring, it's like basically eating the riverbank. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to come see the bittersweet in my oh, I know. lilac oh, I know. garden. Yeah. So, so, what is your pleasure? How, what would you like to do? How so, would you? So, on a side note, yes. uh, Dave, I don't have his last name, but he's a gentleman that's cut the field. Yes. And he worked with Charlie. Yeah, he is. Um, he had the brush hog. He reached out. I don't know if it's to my wife or to the town. Okay. That if we wanted to do that again this fall. Okay. He was willing to do that. Yep. I, I'm going to say it was like. I'm going to just say it was about three hundred bucks. Okay. So if we're going to allocate, we might want to think about allocating that as part of the. So he too. worked with Charlie. I don't. They did. He told me today. Yeah, they yeah, worked so. together. Mm -hmm. He and Charlie were out there. They did the turcot field together. That's correct. And then Charlie did the forest, and he brought crew in that were officials who did, you know, can recognize whatever. He said they pulled between eight and nine thousand plants. 
But we talked to we talked to different. So Dave came in with some kind of push hog. He had the equipment, yes. And did the whole out right. of, out of food just to keep it from right. invasion right. in. Right. So, and then Charlie did pulling all the plants, right? Yeah. Right. Just yeah. want to make sure I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. And they and my point to you is they work together. So yeah, if, I think so. so. If I, I don't know that like for a fact, we, but if you know if that, Charlie felt like we needed that to be done again, then okay. I would certainly say please. Absolutely. Okay. Please Got subcontract it. Dave that to do sense. if okay. he needs to bring the equipment. I would. My idea would be let's let the forestry expert determine what. Agreed. We may not need it this year. We would need to do. And and I was just there Sunday, and it didn't. I didn't. It we didn't, may not. It didn't look because he did such I, a good job last year. Yeah, I didn't think it looked like we needed it at all. It so that's of course the reason why you did on the outside of the field with that fresh odds because of the invasives. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it it was the invasives, and it was also for the rabbits. It's kind of a rabbit yeah. dual. <laughs> what? Try to kill the rabbits? No, <laughs> the, I guess the rabbits like. Brush, brush. Like like brush. brush. Yeah. The the New England yeah. cottontail. Yeah. And, yeah. and 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 you know, very to be specific. Rare, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's really rare. Yeah. So how how do you propose that we budget for this project? Are you comfortable saying we, we would approve the expenditure up to thirty five hundred dollars yeah, and then it. we'll get Charlie's bid and make it work within that amount? Yep. That's what I think. It puts constraints on him, but I mean, if, if he has more work to do after so much time has gone by, but let's just start with that, I guess. And then I get, it, I mean, we could always approve um, whatever excess well, here's bills why, is Here's left. why I want to do it this way, because he told me he will not be able to get a crew. He's going he's to come to our October 23rd meeting okay. and, pre and present everything to us, okay? Mm -hmm. And what he's going to show you is what he already did, the map of the hot spots where the invasives are, what the plan will be for bringing the guys in to do whatever else they're going to do. The problem is if we wait till then to do this, he won't be able to get a crew That's to right. do it That's this year. Yeah, yep. we've done this. We've done this. We've done it before. We waited too long. And well, and it went on for like a year, long. and it was so yeah. frustrating right. that it went on for like a year. I'm like, oh my god, it's like, right. why don't it's we just keep going it down? Now. We're never going to keep trying to do it. And then just keep it down. And then just keep it down with minimal, minimal right. expense. Okay. So, so I motion to approve an expenditure up to thirty-five hundred dollars for Charlie Moreno for invasive plant removal in the Scotland. Perfect. Does anyone like to second that motion? Are you making the motion? I am. Okay, I'll second it. That's fine. Okay. All in favor? Aye. I'm not officially. No, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you're in. You're good, in. You're good with it. Yeah. Okay. So I, will, I told him, I said, I will call you back tomorrow either way. So I'll get in touch with him in the morning, and I will let him know that we would like him to go ahead. And, and uh, here's the budget that we need to, well, I won't tell him that. I'll say, you know, do the rest of, figure out what the rest of it will cost. Right. Let us know. Well, and, if he can use some of the prisoners, he could keep his cost down, too. If that's a problem. He didn't. He didn't love working with the prisoners, so yeah. what would be better with the prisoners okay. is to have the experts come in first, okay. then we get a, a place that we know a certain thing comes up a lot, and maybe we have somebody who manages those volunteers at some point. They have a, they always have a supervisor who comes with right. them, right. And, and potentially people on our board could go out and say, this is what a baby bittersweet plant looks like, here's a couple of bushel barrels, please. La la la, right? And then we can have them doing that. Yep. So I, j I know I know he was a really good sport about it, but it was challenging because they were inconsistent in how much work they did, and he felt bad that he couldn't get as much done as he could if he were working with people who did that for a yeah. job. Yeah. So, yeah. Can I just say that sometimes um, when I'm uh, out, whether it's scout land, my own property, the the invasives thing get, can get really overwhelming. Like, I'm just not, it's not even clear to me from um, looking at Charlie back in the day when he was working with the prisoners. I just, it, it's like, I don't even know how this can be managed realistically. Yeah. Well, I know <laughs> well, what you're saying. What we don't want to do is, you know, I, I'm not $3,000 every year, and before you know it, you know, over five or six years, it's well, I, the whole thing I, I think it's exasperated. That, right, I think it's that going. amount because it's the initial I think so too. Purge. Purge. It's the push, the big push, right. And I do think that there might be a way for us to, to engage, you know, 
people from the garden club. You know, we, we might be able to find people once we've done the whole project if we present it well and we're able to, you know, kind of market the idea. One thing he suggested, he said some communities, what they do is they'll have that, that grid of the property and it's kind of broken into pieces and people adopt a spot, a spot right? Yeah, a spot. That's correct. And then they have a field guide for exactly what they're looking for, right. and they would go out and you know, manage that little, that's their little piece right. of the forest, right? And they manage that piece. So mm -hmm. I feel like we could get a little more creative with it mm -hmm. and figure out a way once it's done. That makes a, a lot more sense yeah. to me is this sort of adopt a spot yeah. mentality because I'm telling you, when you try and get a group of volunteers out and there's a giant swath of uh, bittersweet in, in front of you, it feels pretty yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. Or everybody's picking the wrong stuff. Yeah. yeah it's like, well, oh. there's there's a section in the Mallee Farm that I saw Sunday where the trunks of the bittersweet are That's this thick. Oh, it's very. Uh, and it's all the way up the tree, and the trees are all dead because it's killed the tree. Mm -hmm. And it's so like, it's so intense to think about like how would you even you just have to where put do that whole tree down because right. you're not gonna be able to. Right. Um, so on the yeah. back side where on the back side of my property where Mrs. Liberty's property is, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking yep. about? This. Thick, thick of it's out there that literally you can swing on it. Oh, I, that's, what, that's how thick this one yeah, is? It's yeah. like a, it looks like something out of yeah. King Kong in yeah. the jungle. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, so we're good on that. Yep. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Um, let's double back. That's um, a big one. Family Fun Day. Mm. Um, family Fun Day has reformatted the way that they are going to structure the event. And we will not be having a table this year because the the change in the in the format of it is not really conducive for us to, to do that. Um, I'm also a library trustee, and the library has also kind of said, well, we're going to see how this new way goes, but we're not going to do the traditional table thing. That's kind of bummed because I found the banner. <laughs> we were going to have so, a banner. And the, so yeah. what is so something's changing? So let me explain how it's changed. So what they're doing is instead of what they have here on the agenda, which is 12 to 4, yep. um, they're actually moving it later, so the fireworks are actually at 7.15 in the evening. The police department has a free uh, spaghetti supper for the entire town from 5 to 6.30 leading up to the fireworks. There's a DJ in the street, there's street dancing, they should close off the street. So it's got a more, and those are the things that are really well attended. So it has like a, a Yeah, okay. it has like an evening street feel to it. So instead of making all the kids' activities be at noon, and someone comes down with their kids and then they yeah, have to leave and come back, happen. They kind of compressed it together and made it more of like a late afternoon and evening event. And from 3 until 5 when the dinner starts, they have uh, like um, scheduled, there's a, there's a magician from, you know, 3 to 3.30. There's, it's not like it's just random. It's very, there's a program actually of what they're going to be doing at each of those times. So people will be moving from what they'll go to the animal show and then they'll go to the magician and then they'll go inside and they'll see the ballet show and then they'll do the dinner and then they'll do the fireworks. So they're, they're trying a different format for it. So we don't even have to think about that for this year. What I do think we might want to think about that is like a jump off of this is I do think we might want to think about having a table at um, SB2 and town meeting. Because we used to do that when we were working on getting the Scoutland into easement, and it was people really liked it. So when you're at town hall and you, you know everybody's voting, I mean it might be very different this year because of SB2, but it's a great way to have visibility and have people know that you exist and the things that you're working on and the projects that you're doing. So what's SB2? SB2 is the way that our town government is now going to vote to approve things. So it doesn't happen at town meeting anymore for many things. Okay. Many things are now on a ballot. Mm -hmm. So there's not as much. Um, and that's in March. So you're in thinking March. that it would be at the deliberative session, so which will not be in March. They're in February. Vote. You're only going to go to the polls in March. You're going to have a deliberative we don't have, session. We don't have town meeting at all? Yeah, we no. Have. There's no, no town meeting at all? Not if you go SB2, because it's all going to be on the uh, ballot. I thought we still had town meeting to swear people in and do. I thought there was still like a. Well, we might have it for that. I mean, you have to swear everybody in. Well, that was last year because. Well, when, it was you, the last, when do you do that? You it was the last of the meetings. It? it was the last of the meetings so they swore. I guess you have to have some time to swear everybody in. I don't yeah. know how they're planning to do that. I don't know if they're going to do it at once or if they're going to do it. Right. 
I'll follow up with Charlie Putnam and I'll get, let's get, the, I'll get the, the skinny on everything. But we should have one at least at the deliberative Of course, session. that's what I mean. Those and we can have it for that, yeah. and that might be a good time to help get other people out for this, because the deliberative sessions are going to be very, very important yeah. for people. Right. So having that visibility at whatever the meeting is going to be going mm -hmm. forward. And then um, the other thing I was thinking about, because, you know, as I told you, it's been in a natural amount of time on Facebook for an adult woman my age. <laughs> um, I really think, because I do it for work, I really think that we should set up our own So People are willing to provide fodder for that. I will, I, listen, if you help me make it, I'll, put, I'll post a couple times a week. Because I constantly have things coming through my feed. I went to go post today and I was like, I can't. No, 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 no. So if you, if, you just, if you just help me set it up, the right with all the right categories and everything mm -hmm. on it, because I that I would want to go over that with you because there's so many different ways to do it. Um, so so should we vote on setting up a Facebook page? That'd be good. Do we have so, to vote on it? Yeah, well, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. Just, maybe it's a silly question, but so of course when, you, when you go on no, when you go on the internet and you go into Rollins or Town yeah. website, yeah. there's links. So would you not want to have a link in that? That would link you. I mean, just I don't know. I'm not a computer. So, so when you go say so you go to Ross website, all of a sudden something comes up with this conservation board, and boom. So if there's a way for us to put a Facebook widget next to our conservation commission, we would absolutely 100% do that. So you and can. Yeah. I'm sure, there oh. must be a way to yeah. do that. I just have to confirm. Oh, okay. that I have yeah. to confirm that the town would allow that. But yeah, I don't yeah, see why there's yeah, other than that. Yeah. Yeah. You do have yeah, to redo that. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's right. absolutely a way to do it. It's just, would the town be okay with that? So I can check with the BOS and just say, yeah. that's okay, no problem. And then Agreed. the person who does the website Agreed. will be able to put it on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get what we could use it for is to continue to put the kinds of articles that Jackie and I have been, you know, she's been posting and we're finding. And, you know, but, like, we're going to have potentially these events in October and February. We can... It's just another way to promote it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Some of the stuff Oz was talking about. Finding the adopt a spot people for the forest, that's a great way, thing that we can do. Um, explaining Charlie Moran, you know, when Charlie Moran is here for the next meeting, we can take a picture of him and we can talk about him being here and what he did. You know, it's just a way to share what we're doing with people. And this commission has never really done anything like that before. It's always been whoever happened to come and see a meeting and everything kind of happens in the dark. So I would love to have it be more out. Mm -hmm. And more open, and I think it's I have more have more presence. Yeah, and we have such a really great dynamic group right now that I'm mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited to share. Like in the past, I've been like, eh, not so much, but now I'm kind of excited <laughs> to share it. And that's a good so, way also that you post pictures of the plant because a lot of people yes. don't know what the plant yeah, that's are. Yeah, that's a perfect, that's even that's they a perfect recognize example. Recognize it of in their own yards, and, right? right. And, and show pictures of the project going on as they're cutting it down. Because yeah. out of the three I'm talking about, the only one that can identify is the one that can person. Yeah, yeah. the roots. Right. And we can feature um, Luke's project mm -hmm. and talk about him and thank right. him and show a picture and, you know, all that. So, so that posts really well. Yes, it does. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of, and they should be. Yeah. We'll get to it. It's, 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 right. it's a little farther on, yeah. Okay. So we'll get to that. Okay. So, so between now and our next meeting, Jackie and I will... You know, like I'm just volunteering Jackie to do this. Can I just quickly say what happened since the last time we met? Uh, or do you want to say? What a word. I'm now Mary. Oh, oh right. 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 Yes. Uh, segue. <laughs> and I'm the I'm the queen of bad segues. And tell them about your fabulous trip that you went after you got married. And we went to Italy. For our honeymoon, we did Rome and the Amalfi Coast. It was oh, really very wonderful. Nice. Is the Amalfi Coast the one with the beautiful blue yes. and white buildings on the side? Oh. Yeah. Very cool. So, was it very warm exciting. Or yeah. Wonderful. It was pretty warm there. Oh, yeah. Nice. And so, the water was super warm. Yeah. And I gained five pounds. So I ate yeah. so much pizza and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, isn't it weird to be back here in like the the, the walk in like, closet I, of the Rome's Hotel? I ate and drank <laughs> like way too much. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to just like normalize. Yes. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. That's great. Yeah. It's true. Like you said, the pizza, the pizza is just amazing. So good. I can't go anywhere. It's so easy. Yeah. Jealous. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll get the Facebook page set up, and we'll have that ready to go. And as soon as it's ready, I will send everybody a link so they'll know where it is and how to find it. And then we'll start to try to engage people to join it and be mm -hmm. part of it. Um, so that was my that's my whole like family fun day thing. It's like how do we we were going to do that to do a visibility Our event. Yeah. Here are some other ways that we can have visibility. Yep. Okay, um, the extension programs 
What Oz said was he, he's not here today. He will continue to work with his contact at the extension. What he asked for was could we potentially identify a couple of dates that would work in October or February, and then he will go back and speak to the person and find out when they would be willing to come and do those programs for us. And the two programs were, for anyone who needed to be reminded, we were going to do a bats, birds and bees. I They're in my house. One. I can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> bats was That's the first good. one. Bats was the first bats. one for October. Okay. And yeah. then in March, what we wanted to do was have a garden planning. Like, how do we plan a garden for, you know, for our, our, what do we want to do? Vegetables, we have flowers, whatever. Have a cooperative extension person come because I don't do. I don't know if you start a lot of seeds, but March would be when you yep. would be able to start things indoors yep. that you were going to put Sounds outside. Good. So those were the two that we were thinking of doing. What do you, What do you think? Wait, I'm sorry. Can I just clarify? Is um, somebody from cooperative, cooperative extension coming here to talk to us about this, or is it open to the public? public so, okay. so one that's, of the that's goals good. that was set out when we yeah. first started meeting again was we you know all of this like like outreach and information yeah. and how do we engage the community more and one of the things that we came up with was the cooperative extension for no charge will come and do these great programs Fresh is perfect. let's do some programs mm -hmm. that are related to things that people might right. be interested in so we thought bats because you know it's october and you know yeah that's it. Halloween, yeah. so right. Not that they're, the bats haven't all migrated at that point. That's right. It's, like, it's a jelly thing. It's, I know. It's a jelly thing. There's still one going to the bathroom on my yes. stairs every day. So. <laughs> uh, he's not leaving. So, um, yeah, so it's we, good stuff. Toss it in your garden. Yeah. When I, when I worked in the library, we had many creatures, the most amazing of which was when the baby snapping turtles bled through the wall because the building is so porous and we're walking across the library floor. But often, every three months, a bat would get in and be flying around the library. You know, some people would be very excited. Some people would literally, you literally thought they were going to have a coronary and die on the floor because it was a bat. I'm like, what do you think that bat is going to do to you? <laughs> Not anything. <laughs> so we will, we will um, do those two programs. They're, they're available. The person is available. We need to choose. I would say let's pick two dates in October and two dates in February that would potentially work for us, and we'll go from there and see if we can get people to schedule to those dates. Um, we can do it. Um, we can do it here in that room or the library, which I would, I would think the library might be a better place to do it. Bigger, right? Okay. A little more interesting. Yeah. Okay. We can make everybody come in here and sweat. <laughs> um, so, what do we think for dates? What are you? Did you want to have it on a weeknight? Did you want to have it on a weekend? You have to decide about. That. I did programming for eight years, and I tried every variation under the sun. So I'm open to whatever your suggestions are based on your availability and if, if you want to be a participant in it and help host it. So tell me what you think would be a good idea. So the 8th is Columbus Day, so we should avoid that. Yep. I would say around that weekend because people will be on vacation. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like actually the 3rd Tuesday is the 16th, so that's our weekly meeting. Okay. So I just want to keep mindful of that one. So we meet on the 16th? Or yeah, it's not the 23rd, 16th. Sorry. It's because they're so early. In the morning. Yeah, it's a weird. Thing. Thanksgiving's on the twenty second. Uh, it's so weird. Like so yeah. early. Like yeah. Um, well, the question is whether people want to have a. Do you think it's going to turn out more people on a weeknight or a weekend? I mean, I think you have to think about that. That's hard for me to say too, because the stuff that we've done over the years, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's pretty hit or miss. Like yeah. you could do a weeknight and have a hundred people. Yeah. Or I personally prefer weeknights. Yeah, like when I was a parent, uh, you know, it was always like, oh, I can take my kids out for an yeah. hour, mm -hmm. you know, an hour and a half on a Wednesday night, where I'd be more reluctant to do it. On on a, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I would expect you'd have to do a Saturday during the day, yes. and you could always do that, but definitely not. So a why don't we say night. Wednesday, the seventeenth or the twenty-fourth for October? There you go. Yeah. And like then the 20, oh, I said we're, we're picking yeah, two. We two. Pick yeah, two. Just, yeah, you know, in case the other the presenter is not available. <laughs> right. okay. And then in March, we could potentially do the same thing. It could be right. the Wednesday after our meeting. And we should make sure the library's got space on that night. Oh, that they'll, they'll have space. <laughs> they'll have space. Well, 
they have a lot of nights that are full. Not that we can technically talk about it because we're both <laughs> trustees and we'd be a quorum of our board if we said anything, but I, they'll have a night. <laughs> I'm traveling the 17th, but I don't have to be here. In case anyone cares. Yeah, okay. And the 31st, we want to avoid that because that's the Halloween. Well, that would be at Halloween. Except in Roundsford, it's not. It's the 30th, so. I know, that's so strange. <laughs> well, we do want to have it before um, Halloween anyway. Yeah. I like so 17 and 24. I think those yeah. are I like great. Perfect okay, days. and then March, let's do the same thing. So when would our meeting March. be on March 2019? Do you think 19th. March is a little late, or do you think you want to do it a little earlier for planning? That's, that's what I was going to say. I, I think it has to be like February. end February, early March. Okay, so my, if, if we're talking about garden. Okay, so let's then in March, let's do it before our meeting. So what are the two Wednesdays at the beginning of March? The six six and thirteen. 13. Let's do that. Okay. I don't. Not, I don't want to do February. I'm not a gardener, but would people be thinking about gardens in March? Or would they? No, actually, that's in exactly. February. That's, yeah, because I'm ordering seeds. And right. Really? Okay. My my problem with doing anything in February is the weather is just so unpredictable, and people and and the library you can't get out of the parking lot if it's snowing, so you have a bunch of people trapped and everyone would have to sleep over and it would just not be a good time. So if we move to March, although I will remind you that on voting day last year of March, there was a blizzard and I think it was about the 13th. Oh yeah, that's so. right. That was a big blizzard. Yeah. People so, showed up to vote too. So cool. those will be our dates. Two years in I'm going to let, I will, um, I will email Oscar and let him know that those are the dates that we picked. Okay. And we're going to have bats. And, and is this kid friendly? Yeah, yes. it will be. Uh, the gardening one might be a little boring for kids, mm -hmm. but I but think the bath should be for sure. Fun. Yes, okay. and I will check and make sure. But I, I think that's a good. Um, I think then, that could be fun, right? To get more people out and yeah. mm -hmm. interested. Okay, cool beans. All right. Uh, the next thing on our agenda is the review of the materials. Let me do the updates, and then we'll pull everything out at the end. All right. Um, so. I thought we could get the Facebook page going. We'll recognize Luke publicly mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yep. Um, I think he's a senior in high school, so he's still in the area. Yep. So he is. let's let's invite him to come on October 16th if he can make it. And we'll we'll give him a like a some kind of recognition from all of us. And I you know I'm thinking like maybe a thank you note and a gift card or something. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Um, do you think it should be more public than that? Well, we'll, you know, we can, we can we'll have our Facebook page. We can announce it. We can put up a little flyer. Okay. Just, it just should be a little bit more public, and then maybe put something in the newspaper about it. Sure. I think to, to talk about... Could you yeah. put something on the town page? Sure. Uh, oh yeah, we would advertise well, it everywhere. Advertise it. Yeah. yeah. But I think. I mean, in town we would, but like yeah. we could. What, what if we? Press release. What if we did a press release? release? Yeah. We should have that, and maybe have a nice picture of him, and then get right. that to the paper. Yeah. And yeah. All and that kind of stuff. Uniform. Looks weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. I know that I've said, the last two times you know that I would get in touch with him, but this time I really. So, you know his mother, I know that. I know, I know. So I will get in touch with him. And I just wasn't sure if he went to school or not. And then I remembered that... He may be probably... I don't know he if he's home teacher. He might be home his, teacher. His, my school. son and he are only two weeks apart, and she put him in a year later than I did to kindergarten, so I know he's a senior at Noble. I know, it's too much information, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Yes. Yeah. No, the important thing is yeah. he's not away at college. Yes. So, okay. Well, yeah. Um... I did want to ask Linda about the the review of the easement. Is there any update on that? As far right. as I, I'm at, I'll actually just read you what um, Debbie Gord sent back to me after I, you know, uh, sent her a note explaining what we were looking at in terms of the Scoutland easement and um, you know any chances to make some updates, which is what had been suggested at um, our a land stewardship meeting back in the spring. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking this to the Conservation Commission. Um, you're right in thinking that September is a bit too soon for me to take on this one. We had a gigantic project in New Durham dropped in our lap, a 2,000 acre project, so everybody's been kind of working on that. It's not the time for them to be reviewing their old easements. But anyway, she says, the winter may be a more realistic time frame for me. Uh, the way I see that this would most likely move forward is that first, staff would probably sit down to more thoroughly look at the deed and make sure uh, we catch all of the Scrivener's errors. We'd also most likely identify any terms that may be vague or could possibly be tightened up uh, to our current language, making it easier to enforce and strengthen the easement. 
Um, I think when we have a handle on this, we would determine whether or not we have any capacity at the time to deal with it. I need to go over our policy, but I think we might first need to go through the Land Conservation Committee to get consent to amend the deed and to fix it. And Is that, that us? No, our, our You're the Southeast Land, land yeah, exactly, uh, to get consent to amend the deed to fix it, and if that passes, then approach the town. So this is the uh, you know procedure. Approach the town formally about uh, formally about their willingness to make any changes at all to the easement, even if the town is only open to just fixing the Scrivener's errors. So that um, is essentially what she's saying. But it sounds like the winter. So this is why we have to have town meeting because <coughs> how do you ever talk about something like that? That's not a ballot item. You have to be able to like. Would it just be a select board yeah, decision? I would assume that they would have hearings and then it's maybe a the select board thing. They don't understand how to do public hearing with a formal, uh, you know, newspaper announcement. And, you know. Okay. So what are the easements that are the problems? So the, the easement was written in 2005 and six, and it's about 12 years later. And so we're going to review it and look at everything. and. Okay. I think it's a pretty simple easement, but there are updated ways that people... Right. But uh, was so, the easement that was for Scout Land also the, based off of the Scout Land Management Plan that the Conservation Commission... It, that's the same thing. So the Scout Land Management Plan is the, is the um, parameters by which the easement was then is, is enforced, right? So they're kind of and similar. And that, that was voted on at the uh, town meeting accepted by the town yep. but what's in that management program right and what Linda's explaining is that the the easement uh, organization that holds so we don't hold the easement a separate organization Southeast Land Trust know, holds yeah. the easement their best practices with all the easements that they hold in all the communities and for private landowners include a process by which they review right especially these the older easements Bruce so the way that it works is um, all of our new easements that get written or um, you know conservation deeds for our, our properties that we own, they're all really tight and um, well-reviewed and up to current um, Land Trust Alliance standards. Many of these old easements um, that came from you know before the time of Land Trust Alliance standards don't meet many of those um, standards, and so need to be periodically reviewed, and that's 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 what we're talking about with Scout Land. It was just it's just an older easement. So we need to tighten it up. I know you had the issue with uh, the road race that supposedly oh, right. they weren't supposed to be in there. Um, what else is any issues that's with the easement for Scotland? Uh, it's not. It's not. There's nothing like specific. It's mainly like that. Okay. Here, here's. I'm just going to say it to you. Okay. Uh, our easements are written by land um, conservation professionals, but some of these were not. No. And those ones that were not, they need to be. I wrote this one. <laughs> They I, need to be reviewed. Andrew Key and I wrote yeah. it. He was the chair. Right. I, was, I was the And that's fine. It probably was it. fine in 2004. Yeah. But and sometimes... it went through two years of town meeting because the first right. year it was a draft yeah. and the second year it was you know, to, voted on to be approved or not. But right. we wrote it. It wasn't. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah. get up to speed a little bit more yeah. of mm -hmm. what is actually going on with this. Yeah. Right. And it would seem to me that what would happen is there would probably be some hearings and then eventually it would end up on yeah. the ballot. Because you're not having town meetings. Now I will tell you, I will tell you that at the time that we wrote it, we voted amongst ourselves as to what we would allow use to be. So the way that the ATVs and the hunting and all those things were were put into the easement was this board voted. It was pretty much open to the public in most respects. Well, we voted to put those things in the easement, and then the easement got voted on by the town. But this board had the first say about what would be in there. So we had a big you know, months, plan months that, long debate about the what usage. Plan that was yes. originally, originally voted on. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So we we are charged with the responsibility of the first pass of what that's going to look like. And what we're lucky <coughs> to have now is because this Southeast Land Trust, which did not exist in this area at the time, and they're a pretty pretty good organization. Well, what happened was the, the Stratford Eastman, Rivers right, holder was a more grassroots organization, a great organization, but um, 
one that just doesn't have this tight language and it's, you know, CEDs and it's fee-owned properties in terms of the, the management of those properties and the, and the language within the easements and um, conservation deeds themselves, so, yep. And we, we pay Southeast Land Trust to hold our easement, correct? I mean, is it well, there's a stewardship right. uh, fee that the town probably paid at some point, right. but mm -hmm. that, would, that probably happened yeah. at the time of the, yeah, of the execution of the, of the right. easement. Right. I, but I don't think there's any other payment that goes out. That stewardship fee is supposed to cover um, the costs associated with yearly monitoring right. of, the, of the conservation unit. Yep. So they'll review it. They'll come back to us and say, you know, here's what we recommend. We have a conversation about it. We, we make our recommendation to the town. The town votes on up or down, whether they like what we're proposing or not. So that's how it will go forward. I, it sounds like the land trust will first right. take it's gonna be that over. Right. It's going to take a long process. process. Yeah. It'll take a long time. So but other than that road race, uh, they haven't brought up any other issues that anybody's aware of. There, there have been like minor violations over, over the years. Nothing that has really caused anybody any, any consternation. It is a, um, it is a very um, used conservation easement, you know, probably more so than most of our um, most of our properties, whether, again, whether it's one that we own or one that has a conservation easement on it. Um, it's not ideal, but part of, you know, I guess what was set up with uh, Scoutland was open access to the public, so... And right That's now, just something it, we have to. Anybody's been out there knows that the the trails are very well maintained out there. Yeah. Well, that, so, um, now that you now that you're talking about trails, that was there were at least two years in a row where new trails were being cut. And, well, right and, right and, now, if anything else has changed in Scoutland, it has to go before the select board. That was from the right. meeting with that letter that came up that uh, supposedly there wasn't supposed to be any motorized stuff. The select board, after the hearings, whatever, said, okay, that's allowed again. And Wait, the, what is allowed it, again? There was a letter that came out of uh, wherever saying that in minutes of the meeting, there was proposed not to let any motorized vehicles in there. But nobody could find anything well, in the town meetings that's later not, on that's that said accurate. that it had been rescinded or anything else. No, so didn't. the select board did have a meeting on it, and they basically rescinded that, uh, what was on that paper. Right. And at the end of the meeting, their recommendation to the ATV club was any changes, major changes done on the trails would have to be brought before the select board before anything is done. So basically, what is there now is going to stay unless it's brought before the select board. So there's no going in cutting new trails or anything else. Right. No, I was just answering the yeah, question. This, yeah, that, that's is, one of the things that yeah. occurred to me. It's like, yeah, there were some trails being cut, and so right. that was that was probably like three years ago. But what Linda is saying yeah. is that there, it's not, it's it's that there actually were trails cut. It's not like anybody ever, they, there actually were trails being cut. Which is a violation of the of the there, conservation yes. easement. So you know that's the footprint as it is now. And I was just there Sunday, and I walked the whole thing. Although the ATVs are not supposed to be down on the river, and they clearly are. So they their tracks everywhere. Um, that's it, also, as far as ATVs, very dangerous. You know, it sure is. Considering the fact one of our local police officers exactly went on the river right. once, which is why they shouldn't uh, be down there. Oh. Yep. But my point is that, that there were new trails being cut all through there and crisscrossing, and that was that was what that issue was. So, and and honestly, at the end of the day, the the board of selectmen really are going to bring things to us, and then it go through them. So we will have we will actually have the say because that's how it's going to go going forward, and that's what they've said. Um, so that's another thing that I wanted to say that we will be doing at our October meeting is when I went to see them, I'm going to be um, writing up a, a draft of, of a protocol or a process by which people would come before our board to, to use it for a race or something, right? So we would be able to decide. Not, not yeah. the uses that are allowed in the easement. Yeah. I'm not
not talking about yeah. that, but an outside group wants to come and have like a dog walking fundraiser. Well, are they a nonprofit? Yes, then they may. If they are doing anything for profit, they may not. We would be having that conversation with anybody. There, there was some confusion with who had permission to give what. And talking with the people from the race committee, too, there was they had thought they had got permission from the town to use Scout right. land. And that's why the Board of Selectmen, when I went to see them about it, said to me, please write up a process that we can adopt that will send any group before this group. But I, but I don't think that, honestly, I'm saying this, okay, as a, um, as a person who deals with this stuff all the time, I don't think our, board, our commission has authority to allow what goes on there. No, we're, we're here to say, yes, this is within the parameters of the use right. or not. Right, that's all we're The doing. Board of Selectmen yeah. doesn't get to go, oh, sure, no problem. We get to say, no, this is not within the purview of that document. That's what's going to happen from now on. Right. So that's how we learn. This thing happened with this race, we learned, yep. and now we're going to go forward and do it in a better way. And we also learned, uh, I, don't, I don't know how it came about, we also learned about the kill count. Well, I knew that the was... Natural? Four, that was, that was a lot. Right, three but, or four years ago. I can't was, remember. Yeah, yeah. But it was, so, that, that's part of the reason. There, there was a violation also this year. Um, somebody, maybe you heard about this, Bruce, but there was, and I think actually the ATV club helped Southeast Land Trust manage the issue, but it was like someone was cutting a path from the Summersworth end of the, um, you know, the, the little road that goes along the river, and then it, it goes across this, like, wet area yeah. and into the yeah. Mallee Farm area. When they did the logging a couple years ago, there was a massive pine tree dropped across that trail for the specific purpose, purpose of keeping any ATVs or anything else Out of going that down, edge. going so through the river. So did something happen with that? There's, there's, no, there's no way that... You're talking about a tree that's like right. this across the trail. Uh, if anybody, there was somebody who had set up something for a mountain bikes going across there. I can't stop that. Right. But as far as ATVs, that has been blocked since they did the logging. Right. That so, tree was specifically so, dropped there to stop that. So for the, for the sake of time tonight, mm -hmm. I would like to put this on the agenda at our next meeting. And, and now that we've heard your update as to, like, we've got a timeline that's decently right. long and we have time to talk about it, um, we can get into some more details about, you know, the, the, the way that we want to go forward having our advisory capacity to the Board of Selectmen and people want to use the Scotland defined. And I'll write a draft of something for that next meeting so we can go over it, and then we can all kind of work on that together. All right. But basically what it means is anybody outside of the allowed uses that are already occurring would have to come to us to get the up or down about using the scout land. Right. right. And the Board of Selectmen said to me, we will we will defer to your judgment about whether or not we think that's a good idea. So we'll have to get a say on it before. But see, that, that, I guess that's what I was trying to say. I I don't think that we have the last say. No, I they're good, but they're going to defer. I don't think they have the last say. Right. I think Southeast Land Trust has the okay. last say because Southeast so Land Trust we is do it, then, familiar with the deed. Whenever we do it, then we engage yeah, them. Yeah, I it, think that, that that's and right. And they're part of what we report. Because I wouldn't want for yeah. us to say, "Oh, you want to have a dog walk, and it's yeah. to benefit no, the like shelter, so you can do that." And then Southeast Land Trust goes, "No, it's Perfect. not allowed under the, under the Love conservation it. deed." Okay, even right. better. Okay. We talk about it, you you ask sell, then we know, then that's part of how we recommend to the board of selectmen. Right. Could be worked out next month. We're gonna do that in October. Okay. At our meeting. I've just noted that Tamara's going to share a draft of the process, what's permitted within the easement of the usage of Scoutland, and will include how the select board and self are included in that process. Perfect. perfect. Sounds good. Okay. That's great. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, what's left? New members. I already mentioned that Melanie was going to join us. Um, thank you so much for for wanting to. Um, if you remember when we met in July, she was actually one of our guests, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she was sufficiently ambushed afterwards to be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come be a guest, and who knows what will happen to you. Um, so with Robin off, we have we do have a, we have an open spot. So if you know of someone who is you know passionate about this and wants to join us, that would be great. Um, if we can have an open space, it's not the end of the world. And we do have two alternates. If, if we get into an issue where we need a quorum, we have people who can step into a voting role if we need to do that. Um, did I get? Did I touch it? Everything to the thank you. I think I did. Um,
Um, yeah. And then I just want to go through this stuff real quick. Okay, so so a big thing to me when I do these things is I have done this in town for a very long time, and I've always felt like one of the things that we're not very good at is being grateful <laughs> to everybody that does it. So I cannot say enough how grateful I am that all of you have volunteered to be part of the group. And I'm especially grateful to you for doing the things that you're doing because yeah. it has taken this to like a whole other level and it's really amazing. And, and it's exactly. month to month. I'm not so saying <laughs> that if I can get somebody else to do it next month, it will, it will be you unless you want to officially say that you want to do it. But mm -hmm. I'm very grateful to you for doing it. Um, I will make sure that you get a digital copy of the Treasury Report and the agenda so that you can connect them to the minutes for this meeting. Um, thank you for being on SELT and volunteering to be a connection for us to that. I hope so. at some point it looks, you know, into something lovely. Like yeah. This, no, it's great. some properties, you yes. know, with the input of the yes. town. And thank you for not quitting. <laughs> That's right, Paul. And thank you, Lorraine, for being here. Yeah. And thank you, Bruce, for deciding to join. Now this is your second meeting. Yeah. I appreciate you being here as well. So I really am grateful, and, and I've, I've been on you know boards where people don't come and nothing ever happens, and I like things to happen. So hopefully the way we went through this agenda and all the things that hey, we decided to do tonight, I, I, I don't, I don't want to sit and talk about things for right. two years. Right. I literally want to stab my eye out if I have to do that. So it, they might be small things, but we'll be doing things. So hopefully that makes you happy too, and you'll be into that, and you'll be excited about it. Okay, so let me show you what's in the drawers. Yes, sir. Before you get on to something else, uh, as far as having the meetings down the library are uh, here, uh, most of the other commissions or anybody else usually holds the meetings here at the town hall, which everybody knows where meetings are held. Um, if it's held here, to me it seems like there would be more openness to the general public to have the meetings here in town hall than down in the library. I'm not knocking the library or space or whatever, but it is, you were talking about openness to the general So public. as the chair of the board, we will, we will be meeting at the library. It's it's not practical to meet here. There, well, no, in this space here, it's not. But Well, you, no, the building's yeah. not open. It requires an employee to come in and lock it. Yeah, the decision very... I think we made was based on the day of the week. And yeah. then the, the committee was most available on Tuesdays just, you know, I was, when we you know, originally met. I know, what, talking I know what you're saying. saying. So it was the Tuesday, I think, that was the trouble. And, and the, the, you know, the town hall's not available on Tuesdays. The thing is that we need to do is make sure, obviously, whenever we have a meeting, we advertise the meeting. Right. How, and how it's is it different here whether it's here? I know it's on the town calendar. There was right. a meeting today. but mm -hmm. Right. And it will say where it is, and we'll just make sure that it always says where it is, and people will know what to do. And honestly, in all the years that we've had Conservation Commission meetings, the last meeting at the library was the first time we ever had guests. <laughs> so, and that was because you guys posted it on the Facebook. Right. Yeah. So, we so didn't, was, I didn't have anything like really exciting to promote today, so I didn't. But it, like, <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, what are we gonna talk about next time? That I'd be like, here's yeah. here's the key thing the to come and look at. Where if there's a town meeting on anything, it's usually held here. But if there's a uh, problem as far as being able to get in here during the Tuesdays, mm -hmm. okay, I can understand that. But I was just getting, yeah. you know, yeah. you were talking oh, about openness, you know. Right, but they're both public spaces for yeah. the town, so. Yeah, and it's, it's, But it, the yeah. library's a little harder to find than the town hall. <laughs> Unless people yeah. go online to look to people find out where it's at. People in it's town a, should find out where the library is. I know, but, uh, yeah. you know, you got some people that, duh, I don't know where the library is. There may be some people in town that ain't, there may be people. Okay, yeah. I can't have this conversation because uh, my head will blow right off my neck. Um, Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> we have the technology. We can find the library. All right. So in these drawers, the top drawer is going to be for all the, the mail. And we have mail today. There's mail in here. Um, these are the kinds of things that we get in the mail. Look, it's our most recent newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> we get a lot of stuff from Salt. <laughs> Stop sending out so much paper. I know, it's a lot of paper. Yeah, um, it is pretty this, funny. This huh? is um, <laughs> drinking in the groundwater bureau. Um, this is a conference in November for the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commissions, which mm. there are enough copies of this if you are interested in looking at that and you would like to go. 
Um, what I'm going to do, and I, I, it took me a while to get it all out of the other file cabinet, so what I'm going to do is I will, I will organize this in a way where, um, and I need, South needs to be notified of who the chair is because we have Al Dion, Ralph Phipps, and Dan Murky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Ralph um, yes. yeah. So maybe we want to update that. Maybe, maybe um, we'll get so many. Right. So. These are the types of things that we'll be getting, and obviously at every meeting we'll put it out, but just so you know, if you ever wanted to come in and look at whatever has come in for mail, that'll be the top drawer. And then the other kind of stuff that we have in here is, um, these are files of bank statements and stuff that pertains to the town, like different to the, the Charlie Moreno and all that would be in here. It's not organized yet, but the files are all in here. Um, this is the kind of old stuff we have. I wanted to see Probably. old brochures and things like that. I wanted to just kind of say, Probably you know what? Do we need to keep things from uh, 2001, 2004, 2003? This is a map, so I have to keep that. Um, I just, I didn't want to get rid of it until people said, you know, we're okay with that and we want to put a date on it. I mean, a lot of it's all outdated. Yeah, some of it's really cool outdated. stuff, but I mean, they're... they're there might be stuff in the 80s about acid rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and there might be animals in this book that are already extinct, right? <laughs> um, no, don't say that. Um, yeah, I say if it's, if it's more than three years old. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything's on the internet now. Oh, it's completely right, weird. okay. So, and I will keep an eye... It's just not official document. Right, right. right. No, and anything okay. that's tasked out. Okay. Okay. And everything like that, we'll right. keep, but the other stuff probably... Yeah, 2006. Uh, this is what I'm doing with my husband right now. Yeah. Like, get rid so, of it. you know, it's 2018, <laughs> and, and this is, this is to, to 2012, so it was like a five-year plan that's six years old. Right. So, that type of thing. Okay. Yeah. So, then I'm going to go ahead. 2006. And anything that's, you know... Three years. 2015 or newer that is... These types of materials will keep in the bottom two drawers, and people can come and go through them, and we'll figure out a way to organize it. So it'll be mail, business files in the second drawer, and the bottom two drawers will be materials and resources that come from organizations that communicate with conservation commissions. And all those boxes in the. Okay, so ah, this right here is us. <laughs> Everything else in this room is not. planning board. Okay. Okay. Overflow of stuff from the town, <laughs> voting, like it's crazy. So, what's in the green box? I just kept this because it's, it's oh. an antique and I thought it's it was antique. All right. <laughs> it's, I'm just curious. This actually, it says, it's kind this, of green. Oh. This was officially our drawer forever. All right. and everything you know, it's up there. It says you know, what was right. in it. Right. So and I left, it here, so I left it here to mark that I was owning this. <laughs> okay. But it is empty so that you don't pull it down on your head. So, <laughs> who owns the big map? We do. Well, the town owns all. I'm, I'm kidding. Well, I don't right? know if that's conservation or if it's. No, it belongs to the town. And what I what cool. I would do is ask. Um, I'll ask the board of selectmen if we can borrow it down to the library and put it put it up. So can have it up. See, yeah, it'd be yeah. cool to have it up for um, the open studio in November. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, and maybe have some of the maps up. Maybe that should be our our display in the back room. That'd be kind of cool. The library for open studio would have a whole bunch of all these maps that we. I mean, you don't even know how many of these maps get made. Those gorgeous, beautiful, full color, oh god, maps of everything. So, um, okay, so my other thing about this is if you ever want to look at any of this stuff or come and see it or spend time with it or, you know, peruse through the mail or do whatever, you're, you are all welcome to come and access anything in this file cabinet. It's all public okay. information. If you know somebody who has an issue or they're, they're looking for information on something, I know everything's online, but you know maybe it's something that you would want to come and. I mean, I I click a link before I would probably come up here and do anything. But some of this stuff might be a useful resource for somebody. Even the name of an organization maybe that you didn't know existed, just to kind of look for that. True. Okay. okay. So, any questions about that or? No, but thank you. Okay, for doing that. All right. That's so a lot maybe of we should talk yeah. about this for a moment. <laughs> yes. Really interested yeah. In yeah. Going. Let's talk about that. I went once and it was fabulous. It, it looks great. Yeah, it looks it's, free. It's for every, I put one on their website yeah. real quick. So it's for all of the conservation commissions. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there's, you can pick your different sessions you want to attend. I happen to be unavailable, but I think it would be really good to send some representation yeah. if, if anyone is available. Mm -hmm. there you go. I can always make myself available. That's a spirit. <coughs> what does it say it is? Yeah, 
September. Pembroke Academy on November 3rd. Yeah, it's a one day event. Kind of neat. Town properties and agriculture. Would that be like us letting farmers, farmers use the town? Especially if you get a few of us going, we can all take different ones and, and take notes. And kind of share. Where is this yeah. on the map? Uh, bottom right hand corner, second from the end. No. Yes, this, this, this is pretty good. Yeah. Town this is something to check online. There's a coyote oh, project. That is what I'd love. Mm. I heard him this morning. Yeah, you can hear him. Sometimes I can hear him so loud, I think that they're going to hear him. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. They get half a mile away. Did you, anybody yeah. see the notice from Dover that there's bears in Dover right now? Where in Dover? Um, one over by Stockland something. Not the south side, southwest side. This is why I love. It. Somebody hit one, I guess, the other day. Uh, oh my lord! No, it ran away. It, it did run away. It wasn't oh. At least not enough, so it didn't. Couldn't this is run. why I love um, One was seen at Melody Terrace in Stockland Circle area, and then another one collided on Bellamy Road in Cataract. That's Ooh. too bad. Yeah. But um, they're saying people pull all your that's bird feeders up. Down, so, down. so two years ago, you know the weird farm by the bridge that's in that circle? Yes. By the other pass? The bear was in there looking at all the baby goats. Mm. Oh, yeah. And he ran up the embankment <laughs> onto the bridge. Oh, boy. Down the other side and up the backwoods behind my house. So up behind Nick's all the way up toward my house. Oh, So wow. that close. Yeah, that's... Well, there was one just down the street from me a couple yeah. of years ago. Yeah, I might every have been time, the same one. Every, there was a young one, a small yep. one. Every time you listen to sounds with uh, the police scan, the subject was spotted here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they wouldn't say bear. Well, they were down around Walmart near Gerald area, sitting right, in the right. for quite a while. My husband was coming home, and he was on the overpass, and he jumps out of the car to, like, <laughs> see it. I'm like, what that would be me. Like, what, who are you? Like, what, what are you doing? Like, duh. And he said, yeah, it ran down and, you know, kind of skirted down the... Summer. I'll never forget when I first, when we first went to the house, it was early summer, and I had one of my little Boston Terrier outside with me in the yard, and the guy's like, shh, shh, walking by with his kids, and I'm like, what? And he points up, and the big pine trees across right. from my house, bald eagle yeah. sitting right That's there, cool. and I'm, he's eyeballing my little dog. <laughs> I'm like, come on, <laughs> I'm dragging him while he's peeing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, I saw them just the other morning flying over Silver Street, so yeah. they're around a lot. It's pretty cool. There's it a is, lot it's nice. Cool. So it looks like, do we have to pre-register for this? Is there I a don't think so. Probably. I'll check it yeah. out. Yeah. Just a few it doesn't say no, it doesn't about it. I would really think you would have to pre-register for the oh, Choose any pre session. Registration. There is a register now button on their website. Do you want the... Oh, there is a price. Oh, okay. Uh, um, $60 early bird by October 19th for NSJCC members, $70 for non-members, after it's $70. So, I could still do it. I'm not. Yeah, well, let's let's see, what, why don't we, why don't we, at the next meeting when this, I can't plan my schedule out that far ahead because yeah. I work for crazy people and anything could happen, so, but by <laughs> our next meeting, I might know three weeks out, like, what I'm going to be doing. And I'm actually, there's a couple in here that I'm kind of interested in, too. So yeah. why don't we discuss it again at the next meeting and see Sounds if anybody good. wants yeah. to collaborate and yeah. we can work cool and... How far is Canberra? Yeah. It's all about key, isn't it? Oh, no, it's all the time going to. It's Concord. Concord. Yeah. 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 Just a little, little north and west of Concord? Maybe a little south. South? Like, is it south? I don't know. You see some of the stuff on Route 4 before you get into the Concord to the split for three, um, bypass. Like I'm not sure. It's somewhere in that general area. Oh, no. Yeah, the it's not about content. That's a good one. Um, conservation planning can improve the commission's effectiveness. That's exactly an hour. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Intro to drinking and groundwater. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what I've been drinking for the last 28 years in this town. I don't even want to know. They said mine was okay. I did a uh, project as long as when I turn, with people here. As long as when I turn the faucet on, no flames come out, it's all right. Oh, I'm good. You kind of want it, all right? I do it. Um, could be flames. 
Yeah, yeah good thing for you. Actually, to I have a client that lives in North Andover, and they still need to have their gas turned back on yet, and it will not be turned back on for the foreseeable future. Oh, right. So, yeah, he has a two year old daughter, and he's like, What are we going to do? I mean, we, we can't even, it's so crazy. And there's the, today they started filing class action lawsuits. Like they're well, going to just go yeah. after this. Yeah, they said that they're, uh, they did, don't, they, they did give a uh, certain amount of money already. The, they put can, uh, can a million dollars in their um, yeah. relief yeah. effort fund. Can you come in behind and, and change out to a different, can, could, so I'm connected to the street, it's shut off. I don't have to turn it back on, right? I could get an oil tank and do, do a heating oil or something like that? Or do you have to well, yeah, Most of those either uh, they want to eat the oil. So they probably they're won't have they probably probably won't yeah. have stoves and dryers. Well, I know that, but yeah. I'm just saying if it were me, I'd never turn the gas on again. I would never trust the gas again. It's up to each person whether they yeah. want to get off right? the gas. Right? But there must the be a few other the crazy price, people like me who'd be like, I'm not going to The price for gas right now is the cheapest thing out there. Right, which is why everybody does it. Right. Yeah, no. Okay, motion to adjourn. I make that motion. I second. Yeah. Thank you all so much. All right. It was really great. See Thank you. you. That was good. Yeah, you're doing good. That's what's good. Is Thanks, it organizing? Well. I wasn't good.